Uh, I'm Stefan Edlund from IBM, and this is uh, a global study of malaria climate sensitivity. So given a traditional McDonnell Ross deterministic compartment model, um, with a model for the mosquitoes as well, so it's built on top of a vector capacity model, uh, we are measuring the sensitivity in malaria incident incidence when it comes to climate changes. Um, the vector capacity model um, is using uh, earth science data from NASA as well as uh, NOAA on temperature, rainfall, vegetation, and elevation. Um, and uh, so this is essentially the method. We are uh, we have 10 years worth of data from 2001 to 2010 on earth science data. We take once one year, for instance 2001 in this case, and we build a global patch model for the whole planet down to resolution corresponding to about county levels for the United States. Uh, so we take one of the year, 2001, we run a global patch model for as long as it takes until convergence. So in this case, uh, this is year 2001, it takes about, I would say, five years until it converges. We extract the last year, uh, uh, last year of these incidents from, from the data, and, it's another, and we do that 10 times for each set, uh, from 2001 to 2000, 2010. So now we have uh, 10 uh, climate data sets with associated incidence data. So the first question we ask is, um, uh, during year when the global malaria burden is higher than average, as predicted by our model, uh, which regions contribute most to the, to the increase? And that's essentially this map right here, where the red regions correspond to an increase in incidence, and the blue regions correspond to a decrease in malaria incidence. Uh, we're also looking at uh, how uh, the malaria burden fluctuates with local variations in temperature and precipitation. So we're comparing pairs of years with a big difference in, say, temperature, and we're looking at what's the difference in incidence uh, in, 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 uh, in every region. So the red regions here, you see an increase in malaria incidence, and blue, you actually see a decrease. And this is the corresponding plot for uh, precipitation. 